Hello, church family. The last several messages I have sent out have all been focused on encouraging us to fear not. The, the Lord has this. The Lord is in control. Well, apparently, I, I've got some work to do in this area. Uh, I didn't sleep very well last night. In fact, I lay awake for, for hours. All kinds of different anxieties and, and, and what-ifs were going through my mind. I thought about the financial situation. I thought about the health situation. I thought about grocery stores. Are we going to have enough to eat? And, and on and on. But, uh, but more importantly, what I thought about was, was you, uh, w w was us as a church family. Uh, this is going to hit some of us uh, harder than others. Some of us are going to lose uh, our jobs or at least be temporarily laid off. And, and just all of that was just bearing down on me. And, and eventually, thank God, I fell asleep. And when I woke up, I had a specific passage of scripture on my mind. Matthew chapter 6, verses 25 through 34. And I believe the Lord woke me up with this passage because I needed it, and I think we need it. Perhaps you need it today as well. These are the words of Jesus, and I want to read them for you. So Matthew chapter 6, beginning of verse 25, Jesus said, that is why I tell you, do not worry about everyday life, whether you have enough food or drink or enough clothes to wear. Isn't life more than food and your body more than clothing? Look at the birds. They don't plant or harvest or store away in barns, for your heavenly Father feeds them. And aren't you far more valuable to him than they are? Can all your worries add a single moment to your life? And why worry about your clothing? Look at the lilies of the field and how they grow. They don't work or make their clothing. Yet Solomon, in all his glory, was not dressed as beautifully as they are. And if God cares so wonderfully for wildflowers that are here today and thrown in the fire tomorrow, he will certainly care for you. Why do you have so little faith? So don't worry about these things, saying, What will we eat? What will we drink? What will we wear? These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers. But your Heavenly Father already knows all your needs. Seek first the kingdom of God and, and live righteously, and He will give you everything you need. So, don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. I love what Jesus is telling us. He's telling us that we need not worry. In fact, more than that, he's commanding us not to worry. Why? Because God is the great provider, and God loves us with all of his heart. Jesus, I also love how he ends this, <laughs> ends this passage. I love how he tells us, do not worry, do not worry, do not worry. And at the end of it, he says, so don't worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow will have its own worries. It will bring its own anxieties. Today's trouble is enough for today. So let's follow this word of Jesus, this command from Jesus. Uh, we don't have to take on the, the big picture. We don't have to think about all the ramifications, all that could happen as a result of this coronavirus. Jesus tells us we've got enough to concentrate on just today. Trust him today. Cast your anxiety on him today. Just take it a day at a time. Jesus said, tomorrow will take care of itself. God will take care of us each and every day into the future. I hope that encourages you, and I'm looking forward to us being together, virtually together, tomorrow morning. You have received an email. If you haven't received it, you'll receive it soon, and there's a link on that email that will take you to an online worship service. It'll be at 9 o'clock or 10.30. You choose which one. And we will be together. In a sense, it'll be live. The, the music and the announcements of prayer, the video of the sermon, they've all been pre-recorded. But we'll be watching these things together live. We'll be able to interact with one another and, and talk with one another through texting as part of this website. So I hope you'll join us tomorrow. For, for church. We could be together as God's family. And today, please, please, I'm going to do my best to not worry today because Jesus said, do not worry. Your heavenly father loves you. He loves me. 
and he is going to take care of us. God bless you, church family. See you tomorrow morning.